get all this information so that you can do this in your, at your, in your own time. So I'm going to sign in. And there is the actual training tutor portal. The layout of this is exactly the same in the real tutor portal. This is purely a place where you can experiment. You can't do any harm with this website. You can type things, you can delete things. It will all be reset when you actually log off. So don't be afraid to do anything and everything within here. It's there for training. You can't do any harm. Mind you, I've said that before in course, isn't it? <laughs> Lo and behold, somebody's wrecked the system. No, seriously, you shouldn't be able to do any harm. Right, first of all, I'm going to go along the top row just to show you what you can actually see in the portal. Obviously, we're on the home page at the moment. We have reminders. And that might be something like uh, you need to sign a particular contract, uh, notices and news items. I don't think that's used very much. Anything that you sent into the office or have signed off on the tutor portal, it could be a tutor report form. It could be the paperwork that you sent into the office. When you send the pink slips in from the um, uh, enrollment forms, it'll come up there and say, as it says there, thanks, the pink care up register has been received. And then anything down below, anything that's due soon, and of course paperwork, tutor report form, etc., will be in there. Now let's move along to the next one, my activities. And there you can see that there are four drop down. You don't have to press any buttons, by the way. If you just move the mouse over, the, the menu automatically appears, so you don't have to click anything. And there you can see the activities for this year, activities in previous years or in the com coming year, course documents, course information sheets, tutor report form, and anything that you've recently viewed, any contracts or any page that you viewed on this website. We're coming back to that in a minute because we'll be generating a um, course information sheet and a tutor report. Now your contacts, any contacts that you've had, the claims, any claims you put in, and this is probably a more interesting one, is your actual details that are, that are logged on the system at the, at the moment. So you can actually go through and check what information the WA holds for you, about you. Um, as you can see, it's all the personal details. Middle name, you could also put a middle name in if you don't have a middle name and you wanted to submit one. Any contact details, telephones, if you've moved house and you um, need to change your phone number or you've changed your mobile phone, you can actually change that information in there. And security details are, of course, your password that you use to get into the website and any security questions that you may have asked. Training, any qualifications that you have that are held on file. So it could be a petals course that you've done or whatever, whatever qualifications you have. The other sort of training is any training that you've done with the WEA, a one day course, a two day course. This course, for instance, you could actually put in there as being an introduction to tutor portal. And any external training. And then at the end, we've got messages. So as I say, this is just a very brief introduction to the portal. Any questions so far? Okay, in that case, what we'll do, we'll go on and look at submitting a course information sheet. Is everybody familiar with the course information sheet? I presume you're all tutors and you've all done course information sheets at the beginning of, uh, before a course starts. So let's go back to my activities. Um, course information sheets, let's find a course. I'm going to go back to a previous year. Now, this isn't set up. This is obviously a training um, website, and it's not set up exactly as it would be for you. So I'm going to go back to a previous year to look at a course information sheet and how it's set up. So over on the right-hand side, we've got the status of particular courses that you are either have done or are doing. So you can actually view the course information sheet. You can create a course information sheet. Or that one says in progress, and you can actually go back and edit the course information sheet. So let's have a look at the in course uh, in progress sheet and click edit. And up come the details of the course. The fact that the course information sheet status is in progress, the course title, the course reference, who the tutor is, 
where it is, the fee, the start date, end date, and the number of sessions in the day and time. Below that, if we scroll down, something that's very important to mention is that if you are using this to create uh, course information sheets and tutor report forms, please save your work regularly because it will time out after about 20 minutes and you could lose everything that you've just spent the last 20 minutes on. So please save regularly. So let's have a look down at the, now this course information sheet, it doesn't look like the course information sheets that you see printed, but each box, when you print it off, it will look exactly like the course information sheets. So in here, then you go through the various boxes to create a, an information sheet. The materials, the course aims, the course description. Up here, we've got an expand all button. And watch what happens when I click that to the um, items below this current box that's open. All the boxes open. So the essential materials, the equipment needed, the course aims, course description, any prior knowledge and entry requirements, you're probably all familiar with those from the course information sheets. Go through filling all those in, remembering of course to save your work as often as you can. It can become a bit of uh, tedious at times when you start saving things regularly, you become paranoid about it. But go through, uh, list all your learning outcomes and then what they are obviously. Um, I can't even spell there, I've actually typed Rayed, lots of books. Yeah, it's bad isn't it? And down the bottom, we have a save button, a submit button. So once it's finished, complete, and you're happy with it, if you click the submit button, it goes to the course um, organizer. There's a print button, so you can print a hard copy if you want to. And there's a copy button, which is a bit of a misnomer, but that copy button is actually for copying previous course information sheets into this one. So if you've done the course before, um, you can just find, if I click the copy button, it comes up with another window. You type in the activity reference, C, whatever it is, activity name, the course title, uh, the academic year that it's in, 2015-16, and the status is whether it's in approved in progress or submitted. And if you click that, it will then give you the option to duplicate a previously written course information sheet into your current course information sheet. So that saves you having to go through everything again, typing it, retyping it. Any questions on that so far? If you, it, yeah, if you want to raise your hand, if you, if you want to ask anything, please raise your little vir vir virtual hand and um, we'll do our best to answer it. Okay, so you're all happy with that. So that's the course information sheet. I mean, as I say, people are probably all familiar with doing it. It's just doing it electronically. And there's no reason why you couldn't do it in a, in a program like Word, <coughs> for instance, and then copy and paste it into these sections. Because if we look at this reading and information sources, at the top here, we've got a mini word processor. We've got bold, embolden, italics, underline, cut, copy, paste, word count and a spell check. So we can do all of those. And it's actually found out that I spelt reading correctly. Well, yeah, great. So it's a mini word processor, but as I say, you can use any word processor program to do it offline as it were. And then once you've done it, come back into here and then just copy and paste into each section. So that's another way to do it. If you've got a previous one, you can copy the whole thing in one go. Uh, if you want to do it offline, you do it on, in a Word document or any sort of Word processor and then put it in, copy and paste it into each of these sections one at a time. And the tutor report form is almost identical, except for the uh, remarks that you get from the students. Okay, so let's have a look at the um, tutor report form. Oh, I've got to find um, the previous one. I'm going to go down to the little foxes because it's one I've used previously to look for the tutor report form. And at the bottom of the activity details here, it has, you can now perform the following actions. Course information sheet, tutor report form, contracts, claims, raise a query or request a change. So I'm going to go to the tutor report form. 
And there we have very, it's laid out in a very similar manner to the course information sheet. All the details of the course. We've still got the save button. We've still got the expand all button. I'll expand it. And there we've got the familiar layout that you see on all tutor report forms. Number completing, reasons for non-completion, etc. Reasons for non-achievement. And then the feedback form. We're putting numbers, number of students rating all the different boxes. And then scroll down and fill in each box as you go down, as you would do normally by hand or whatever, however you do it at the moment. I don't know. Some people do it by hand. I've been doing it by hand, but it can be any way you want to be. Any questions so far? We're, we're doing okay for time at the moment. Okay, so that very, very briefly is the tutor portal and a couple of the forms that you can fill in. So what I'm going to concentrate on now is where can you look to get the information that you need to be able to use this effectively. Now at the top right hand corner, once you've signed in, there's a little help button. I'm going to click that. And immediately it brings up the help guide for tutors, which is a 67 page manual. Now, if you want a printed copy of this, you can ask the office for a printed copy because obviously it's 67 pages. It's going to take a while. It's going to use a lot of ink. Um, you can ask the office for a printed copy. Um, but obviously with the reference on here, you can actually click any of those and it will take you straight to that section. And notice beside each section, there's a little video camera, which means that that section has a video tuition part to it. And I'll just click on it to show you. So I'm clicking on the signing into the tutor portal. There you come up to that section. It's got a little camera beside it. If I click that, if you look down in the very bottom left hand corner of my screen, you'll see that it will download a video. So I'm just going to click that now, but look down the bottom left hand of the side of my screen. There is a video that's downloading. Now I'm fortunate here that we've only just, well, only just got fast broadband, which is a boom. It really has made a tremendous difference. So down on the left hand side there, I've actually downloaded the video that will tell me how to sign into the portal. And if I click on that, it will open up the video player. And you can probably, can you hear the um, talking in the background? It's, it's also subtitles as well. So if you don't want your speakers on, you can actually read it off the screen. So I find that extremely useful. And that's all there. Once you've logged in, whether it's the training website or whether it's the um, real website, you just press the help button and immediately the manual's there. You can go straight to a section and play the video if you're having trouble um, doing something with the portal. Now it's obviously a work in progress as well, the portal. There are lots of things that are being worked on. Um, uh, I think they're looking at sending texts out and things like that. Uh, a few other bits and pieces. I can't even remember how what's actually happening now with it. But there's a lot of things that can happen on the portal. Um, but they're not doing it at the moment, but they will be. So anybody got any queries or questions at the moment? Anybody find it daunting? <laughs> no, everybody understands everything? This is great. <laughs> Adam, can you think of anything that you'd like to see? Um, I, I just want to talk about the, the benefits of, of our tutors using this. Uh, it, it's kind of twofold. One, that it's going to cut down your time in completing your kind of admin tasks, uh, which, okay, to begin with, it might, might just take you a little bit while longer just so you get used to the, the format. But, but once you're sorted, I think it's really going to speed up the admin process. Um, from an organizer's point of view, I will get an email as soon as you've submitted a course information sheet or when you've completed the tutor report form, an email will come to me saying that, that, that this has been done and I can log in and I can tick it and that's fantastic and all the details will get um, put into the system. It also will benefit the office in Cambridge 
because of the you know reduced amount of paperwork that will be coming in. Everything's done electronically. We can tag and see exactly when things have been sent, um, which, which again will be a really ben- a, a real big benefit. Um, so, has any has anybody got any any questions, queries? Um, you know, this is this is the time to kind of ask if if anything wants to get raised or anything like that. No. No, it seems oh, good. okay. Yeah, here we go. We got one. We got one. I'm just gonna okay. just gonna unmute. There you go. Okay. Uh, is it, is it? Can we actually um, ask for a, the tutor portal help book now? Yes. If you you can either, as I say, you can either do it online, or if you phone the office and say, "I'd like a printed copy of the tutor help uh, tutor portal book." Uh, manual portal manual then yes they'll send you one right okay i just like to stress on that point as well obviously if you get the printed version you're not going to be able to watch the videos uh the, the benefit of having it as a digital copy is the fact that you can click on a specific link and it'll take you directly to that section and also you can watch the video but um yeah we can we can supply a, a printed copy okay okay yeah, and those videos, as I say, they're a tremendous help uh, because it does go through every part of the manual and explain it, how to do it. Uh, it is invaluable, yeah. So, but by all means, I mean, I've got a printed copy here, but I printed it off myself. Um, some people prefer to use printed information. That's fair enough, yeah. Um, um, there's also, sorry, Dave, if I could just jump in. There's the, a website that's got all the kind of links that um, you need in terms of tutor portal training and, and handouts. And I've just put that in the, in the chat box, uh, which is a direct link to that on, on that, which Dave's now got up on the screen. So you can have access to the tutor portal training website. There's a more condensed tutor portal training handout, which is only several pages long, as opposed to the, the war and peace version that we've, <laughs> that we've got. Uh, there's the actual WA Tutor Portal site that, that you would log into with your own accounts. And then there's the full Tutor Portal help guide, which, which Dave's been mentioning there. So that's all available through that website that I've put into the chat box for you. I'd just like to say that, that the help guide on this, from this website, you don't get access to the videos because of a, an error when somebody compiled the guide. So you have to go into the training website or your own tutor portal website when you get your login details and use the help button there. That's the only way that you'll get the videos. Don't use this one purely for thinking you can get access to the videos. You can't do it. Um, Dave, I'd just like to mention as well about the forum that we've got. Um, which again, I'm putting the link into the chat box. I will also supply all these links in a follow-up email, which will go out about 15 minutes after the session finishes. Uh, that will have all, all, all the kind of links and, and information you need. But we've got a forum that we've set up that tutors, staff, anybody can go into. There's a number of kind of threads on there. There's one specific for Tutor Portal that Dave's going into now. Um, and we've got three sections on there. The first one, now you don't need to, you don't need an account to, to access any of this. You can create an account and that gives you added privileges. Um, but you can, you can go in as a guest and, and post comments and you know, that's absolutely fine. The first section is how did we do in there? We've got the training evaluation form that Dave mentioned at the beginning that you can download from that. And if you can complete that for us and, and, email it back to Dave or myself that would be great so we can get some feedback as, as to how you felt the session went today because uh, this is something we're looking at trying to do in order to make communication between ourselves and tutors that much more easier then the next one is called let's talk about the portal which is basically an open forum for tutors uh, myself and Dave and the project manager for Tutor Portal, Dan Lynch, will go in and we'll be able to answer any questions that you post in there. You can share your best practice and thoughts and um, 
grievances you may have in there and, and, and talk through with one another. And then there's also a, the third link is to the tutor portal manual that we've already kind of mentioned. So do, do please go in there and have a look. There, that's kind of newly set up. So um, we're really encouraging tutors to, to access that. Right, so any more questions? I think we've got about five minutes before. Yeah, before. so if anybody has any queries. Um, did you all get my email address at the beginning? Make a note of it if you would. So that, whoops. <laughs> so you can e email me with any queries at all. Because once, I know what it's like, you do a session like this, it's fairly, it's very quick. And then you go offline and you think, oh, truth, what I should have asked is blah, blah, blah. Please feel free to email me at any time with any queries you may have. And I'll answer them as best I can. If I can't find out, I'll ask um, Dan Lynch, who's the uh, tutor portal project manager, the national tutor portal project manager, uh, or I'll ask the people actually working on the tutor portal office. So if there's no queries, we can end it there. That was a very brief introduction to show you where to get the information from and what it looks like. Dave, can I just just before before we we go? Um, yep. We are more than happy to arrange for any further training that you might need on this. So if you want to go into a little bit more depth and we can spend a bit more time, obviously we wanted to trial this and see, see how we got on and, and how you found the whole concept of, of deliver, having training delivered online. But we can very quickly set up another training session if, if, if you so wish. So again, please either contact Dave or myself and, and we can arrange that. That's not a problem. Right, great, thank you everybody. We didn't have much time this morning to say goodbye. We just said thank you everyone and we got cut off. <laughs> we've got a bit more time to say goodbye. So thank you for everybody for spending some time this evening. Well, Dave, we've got a question from Paul. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Paul, I'll unmute you now. I just wanted to say thank you very much. Um, I was pretty freaked out this morning about doing it and uh, you've made it very, well, understandable, shall we say, but obviously once you practice, we'll find out what really happens. But thank you very, very much indeed. Oh, thank well, you, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. That, the the yes. training site for, for the um, tutor portal, you can't do any harm on. So go on there. If, you, if you'd feel more comfortable going on there first, having a, having a test around and, and see what's what, do that before logging into your, your own um, tutor portal account. The other thing I'd just like to mention, I see Karen um, and Notman has got a, a question to, to ask as well. Um, Mike, do you, three minutes. Tutor portal logins got sent out a little while ago. If you've still got them for you, for yourselves, fantastic. If not, you need to contact um, Jackie Taylor in the office would be the first point of contact to get your login details and passwords sent back out to you. Um, okay, let me just go to Karen. There you go, Karen. Okay, so all I was going to ask is, how will we know that there is something waiting for us on the tutor portal? Will we just have to go in and check or will we get some form of notification elsewhere? You'll get an email to say that there's something yeah. in the portal for you. Lovely, that's great. Okay. Um, Notman, there you go. Right. And just to say, thank you for it all. I find it very useful. Um, I've already got... Um, a, a password and everything because I've I've gone into it before uh, this session. So I still use the same one, don't I? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're at less than a minute now, so I don't want it just to cut off and, and for everyone um, to, just to go. But I'd just like to say thank you very much for giving your time this evening for this. I hope it's been useful. Um, yes. And feel free to contact myself or Dave if you've got any more questions. And do visit the forum, please. Okay, thanks very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye.